To make a delicious roti in Sri Lanka, you can follow the traditional recipe using wheat flour. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Ingredients. 2 cups of wheat flour. 1 teaspoon salt. Water, as needed. Coconut oil or vegetable oil, for cooking. Instructions. 1. In a mixing bowl, combine the wheat flour and salt. Mix well to evenly distribute the salt. 2. Gradually add water to the flour mixture while kneading with your hands. Continue adding water until you form a smooth and pliable dough. The amount of water needed may vary, so add it gradually to achieve the right consistency. 3. Once the dough is formed, cover it with a damp cloth and let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes. This resting time allows the gluten in the dough to relax and makes it easier to roll out the rotis. 4. After resting, divide the dough into small balls, roughly the size of a golf ball. Take one ball at a time and flatten it slightly with your palm. 5. On a lightly floured surface, roll out each ball of dough into a thin, round shape using a rolling pin. Aim for a diameter of approximately 6, 8 inches. 6. Heat a flat tawa or frying pan over medium heat. Once hot, place a rolled out roti on the pan. Cook for about 30 seconds to 1 minute, or until you start seeing small bubbles forming on the surface. 7. Flip the roti and cook the other side for another 30 seconds to 1 minute. During this time, you can press the roti gently with a spatula to help it puff up. 8. Once both sides are cooked and the roti has a light golden brown color, remove it from the pan. Brush the roti with a little bit of coconut oil or vegetable oil to keep it. 9. Repeat the process with the remaining dough balls until all the rotis are cooked. 10. Serve the freshly made rotis hot with your favorite curries, sambals, or chutneys. They are particularly delicious when paired with dal curry, chicken curry, or pole sambal, coconut sambal. Enjoy your homemade rotis, a staple in Sri Lankan cuisine.